Did you know that the inner and outer portions of the calf grow at different rates and can be selectively targeted? Or that if your knee is bent, your calf raised strength is cut in half? Or that having tight calves can lead to flat feet, plantar fasciitis, and even hip injuries? Well, in this first episode of my 2 Minute Muscle series, I'm going to go over absolutely everything you need to know about working the gastrocnemius, aka gastroc, the muscle that makes up the bulk of the calves, drastically improving your calf training, all in under 2 minutes. The purpose of this series is to condense hours of exercise science training and research on a muscle, cut out all the fluff, and hit you with only the most essential takeaways as briefly as possible. So if you like this 2 Minute Muscle format, please let me know by hitting that like button, commenting below on what muscles you'd most like me to go over next, and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those muscles when I do them. And without further ado, let the 2 Minutes on the Gastroc begin. First, some quick facts. Despite what many people think, only about 20% of your baseline calf size is genetic. So you do control your calf growth with your training. The gastroc has a majority of type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers, so powerful or explosive contractions will work at best. 10 to 20% of people have an extra bone embedded into the top of their gastroc called the fabella, and the inner gastroc is naturally bigger than the outer, but that can be changed via region-specific training. The gastroc is V-shaped because it's split into medial and lateral heads, which originate from the medial and lateral sides of the femur. They merge to form the Achilles tendon, which inserts on the heel, and both heads are innervated by the sciatic nerve. Since it crosses the back of the knee and the ankle, when it contracts, it bends the knee and points the foot. So both calf raises and leg curls work the gastroc. However, because the two heads have different origins, they don't pull evenly on the heel. Doing calf raises with your feet turned in works the lateral head more, while having your feet pointed out works the medial head more. No standard exercise works both the knee and ankle flexion aspects of a gastroc simultaneously. So I developed this technique, combining a leg curl with calf raises to successfully do so. Gastroc growth is also affected by range of motion, working only the first half results in greater hypertrophy than working the second half or even full range of motion. Its growth also depends on contraction type, with eccentrics triggering greater hypertrophy and lower risk of injury than concentrics. Crossing two joints also creates active insufficiency in the gastroc. If the ankle is flexed, it can't bend the knee as strongly. Or if the knee is bent, its ankle flexion is weakened. So if you do bent knee calf raises, only your soleus will be effectively worked. And crossing two joints also makes the gastroc more susceptible to injury, with tennis leg being the most common example. To prevent injury, you should stretch the gastroc by dropping your heel as far as you can with a straight knee and then lean forward. New research shows that simply stretching the gastroc can also trigger hypertrophy, in one study achieving 15% growth in just 6 weeks. Stretching is also important because the gastroc transmits force through deep fascia up to the hip. So if it's too tight, it can pull your hip out of alignment and down to the plantar fascia of the foot, causing flat arches and plantar fasciitis. And finally, when you do stretch, you should include ballistic stretching techniques, since it's the only type that decreases tendon stiffness, preventing Achilles injuries. And there you have it, everything you need to know about working the gastrocnemius, the biggest part of your calves. Now I know I breezed through some complex and important principles here, such as active insufficiency, partial ranges of motion, the compound gastroc techniques, and ballistic stretching to name a few. So if you want a longer, more in-depth version of this video that explains everything in a lot more detail, and also provides links for many of the scientific studies backing the info I presented here, you can find an extended mastery version of this video within the new 2 Minute Muscle Mastery section of the All Access Basic membership, along with extended versions of all future 2 Minute Muscle series videos. The All Access Basic membership provides an incredible amount of premium health and fitness content, including hundreds more science-based leg and calf exercises for less than 10 bucks a month. And I'll even include a code for a free month of the membership so that you can get in and check it out completely risk-free. Both the link and code are in the video description below. Guys, if you like this video and my idea for this 2 Minute Muscle series, again, please let me know by hitting that like button, commenting below on what muscles you'd most like me to go over next, both of those things will significantly help me out. And once again, if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when I release subsequent videos in this series, because I will eventually be hitting virtually every muscle in the body, and you won't want to miss them. And finally, for more free top-tier health and fitness content, join Fitness Tip Friday, my extremely popular weekly newsletter that is always short, significant, and science-based. Mahalo, my friends. Until next time.